Miller. Good morning. Liquefied natural gas, LNG, has 600 times the energy of natural gas. Ignited flammable vapors can travel with the wind, cause flash fires, pool fires, vapor cloud explosions, and blibbies. Fortress Energy Partners was established in 2014 to build a nationwide small-scale LNG production and distribution business using rail corridors. On September 3rd, 2014, FECR expressed interest in moving containerized LNG from FEP's new LNG production facility in the Hialeah Rail Yard in Miami to the Bowden Yard in Jacksonville. On, sept on September 24th, AAF Holdings applied for $1.75 billion in bond financing to establish passenger rail service in the company's transportation corridor with stations located in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and Orlando. And on December 31st, American LNG Marketing and FEP affiliate requested DOE, DOE authorization to export LNG transported by rail in the same corridor from Miami to ports Miami, Everglades, Palm Beach, Jacksonville, and Canaveral. On March 3rd, 2016, the FRA responded in part that LNG rail transportation presented unique risk. No railroad in the U.S. was transporting LNG, proposed routes tra traverse congested highly populated areas with frequent highway grade crossings and eventually share routes with 110 mile per hour high performance passenger trains. So how did FRA's LNG team know about All Aboard Florida, now Brightline? FRA held biweekly LNG conference calls with FECR and asked if LNG trains would be sharing tracks with passenger train services and how would they ensure the trains would not interfere with each other's schedules. FECR said it was not operating passenger service on the line at the time, that routes would host AAF passenger trains in months and years ahead south of Cocoa, and PTC would be implemented prior to starting the service. On June 7, 2016, FECR revised LNG shipments to be limited to port to Miami and Everglades as a pilot initiative to gain experience with the rail move. And FRA approved 100,000 gallon day shipments beginning May 9, 2017. Several churches and schools have been designated as potentially sensitive targets along the transportation routes. FECR advised that in the event of a leak, Crews would stop the train, communicate the situation with the dispatch center, summon emergency responders, and position themselves in an upwind, upwind position. In other words, run. If FECR freight, trip, freight shipments are currently scheduled by Grupo Mexico and passenger rail by Brightline, what could go wrong? All reference entities except Grupo were affiliates of Fortress Investment Group, a New York hedge fund, and the two projects are mutually dependent. Thank you.